All right, here we go, guys. I'm gonna do a little painting here for you guys. Hope you uh, hope you can enjoy it. I'm gonna do a palette knife painting. I haven't done one of those in a little while. So here we go. I'm gonna use a just a simple palette knife here. Gonna make some trees. Okay, just to Before I continue with that, I'm going to start laying out some color just to show you how I do that in the background first. So here we go. Just laying out some color, laying down some color. One of the things about palette knife is that you have to have a, a hell of a um, patience. <laughs> patience. You need patience with palette knife. I think with anything, you know, but especially with palette knife, because it's it really, especially if you're doing something out other than the nature. If you're doing a portrait or you're doing you know, something that requires a bit more definition. It certainly requires a little patience. And again, it's, it's very much like loose brush work. It's very loose. But it allows you to play a lot with color. You can create tone with it. You can create different things. With palette knife, though, um, the less oil you use, probably the better. Um, usually, I have my 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 palette here, my table palette. There's lots of oil because I, I use the brush a lot, so there's a, there's lots of oil on the on the surface already, but. Still works, it doesn't matter. I do this from time to time because it's a little dirty from uh, days of not using it, maybe months of not using it. But 
But nevertheless, that's the way it is. That's the way the cookie crumbles. The cookie crumbles. <laughs> oh, man. I have to make myself laugh here. It gets, it gets interesting in the studio sometimes. Look at that. Ain't that something? I don't, I don't prepare. I know some artists that use palette knife. They'll prepare and they'll only paint where they need to paint. I'll paint the whole thing and I'll keep adding as I need to. I don't really, I don't, I don't use a uh, color economy or uh, I don't use much economy. I just kind of, I just kind of do. I'm not, a, I'm not a big preparer. I'm not a big prepper. I know some artists like to prep. They love they love prepping. Like if they're gonna have another tree somewhere, they wouldn't paint on that area. They would just outline the tree and and leave that area unpainted until the until the tree is, is ready to be painted. But you know I don't. My my stuff is 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 a lot more intuitive. I and I found out that if I if I prepare, it slows me down. And I don't, I don't, I just don't like preparing. It's just something that I don't like to do. So. It's just kind of what I found out. If I prepare, I slow down it and I don't like preparing. So if that's your cup of tea, you know, if preparing is your cup of tea and you need to prepare, then, you know, go for it. Meaning lay, lay, creating a layout of your painting. That's what I mean by preparing. A basic outline or a basic layout. I, I really don't. Unless I'm doing some figurative work, then maybe I'll do some of that. But even then, I find myself not doing that. Look at that. It's a little bit more more intuitive, you know. It's it's, and it's not that serious. It's just that, man. For some reason, we just human beings, man. We we love making everything too serious. It's not that serious, really. So you could even do that. You, know, you can. Bob Ross up here. It's almost like we have this need to to make everything much more complicated than it really needs to be. I really don't. You know, simple like that.
some uh, blue gray over here. And do some damage over here. Check it out. There's a few ways of using the palette knife. This is, this is very choppy. This is kind of like creating a little fragmented choppiness. I'll show you another way that I use the palette knife as well, that it's, uh, it's slightly different. It's more like using the palette knife as a, as a painting, as a paintbrush, as opposed to, to just using the edge. This is more choppy. It's almost pixelated. This way of using the palette knife is, yeah, I, I would say it's a bit more like, like if it was pixelated. The juice of a painting really comes out Um, it comes out, in my experience, if you're, if you're painting at my, at my pace, it comes out in about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. What I mean the juice is that I'm, I'm, I'm you know, the, 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 some people might say that it's like finished a long time ago, right? That's, those are usually artists that speak like that. But, uh, but the definition or the juice, I call it the juice of a painting really, really comes, comes forward in about, probably in about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. You really start, you know, if you, if you move a little faster, it, it might come down to, to about 10 minutes. Especially if you're a planner artist or something like that. But 
that's been my experience anyways, you know, everybody paints different, but my experience has been that. And when it really sits in, it's, it's you know, 20 minutes in there or so, it's really when you start seeing a lot of the, the ooh and ahs, you know, the ooh, ah part of the painting. They call it the bells and whistles. But about five minutes in the painting is really you don't really know what the hell's going on unless you're an artist you know that's why i say artists tend to say oh the painting was done at five minutes or the painting was because they, they're able to see what's going on but most most people who are not artists are not really able to see what's going on until about 10 12 minutes into the painting then they're able to see what's really going on at this point i mean you pretty much have an idea of what this thing is, you know. There it is, guys. There is the painting. We can even uh, dare to dream and put some some sky that is not yellow in the background too. Especially up here. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. This painting will be available on my uh, eBay site at auction. If you guys want to shop at it, all you have to do is just click the link in my profile. All right, look at that. Thank you so much, guys. Take care, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.